Hi everyone, Jackie here with Enjoying Life's Journey and today is Transformation Tuesday and I wanted to go over with you part of my personal growth, I guess you could say, and more importantly, I had talked about in the last video how I was going to go over my goals. I recommended that you try to do three goals for three months, one year, and five years. I went ahead and did five goals. I did one goal per area of my, my wheel of life. So I had a goal for personal well-being, a goal for my relationships, a goal for my um, fun and recreation, um, a goal for my home, and then a goal for my business. Today I'm only going to go over my personal well-being goals for three months, one year, and five years. Also I mentioned that you want to keep reevaluating your goals like every quarter, the beginning of the year, your birthday, so different times. And I actually decided that I wanted to start evaluating my goals more on a daily basis. And I came across a fellow YouTuber and um, I totally am blanked on her name. I'm sorry, but I'm going to link her. Um, I'll put her name here. <laughs> and then uh, her channel, and I'll put it down, her channel in the description box as well. She, her channel is all about fitness because she has some really great stuff about eating lean and exercises for females and things like that. And she actually had a video that talks about keeping a success journal. And it's just a way to kind of look at your goals on a daily basis and make those action steps. Again, I had mentioned about making action steps to go along with your goals. So I'm going to go over um, just a couple of the goals that I have, and then I'll show you three ideas of how I'm going to start a success journal. So we have um, just a normal, um, you know, a normal pad of paper. I basically was like, okay, this is my goal journal slash YouTube um, journal notebook is what I want to do. So I actually kind of started this before I saw her video. That's where everything's at right now. If I stay in here, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so three month, I have three month goals. And again, for my personal well-being, uh, one of my goals was being present in everything that I do. Now I have you know some schedules and I try to be present um, but there's a lot of times when say my husband gets home from work and he's telling me a story about work or something and I'm really not there I'm not really listening I'm just yeah mm -hmm. oh that sucks you're you know whatever you're not really there and that kinda goes to like nurturing your relationships that you can really connect more with the other person if you're truly present and you're truly listening to what they have to say as opposed to listening just so you can respond um, and just since I've been doing this uh, I I feel better I don't know if it's I'm hoping it's reflecting on my husband that I'm actually more present but he may not even pick up on that and that's fine it's for me as well with the girls and that also is gonna help your time management and organization and stuff if you're present in that moment um, even if you just say, okay, I have an hour to work on this, you set a timer and you are just present in that moment. So that's one of my personal goals I want to work on. The other one is my personal hygiene. Really, I don't wash my hair every day and that's fine, but just making sure that I'm actually getting dressed and doing my makeup. I just wear very light makeup, basically mascara and some concealer a little bit of powder. And then if I do go like out for the night, I do like to do a full face of makeup. So just making sure I'm dressing every day and doing my makeup. So that was um, two, three month goals um, that I had. And a couple action steps um, I had put into place for that was to um, maybe make a chart to make me accountable for, which I kind of already have. I have here um, on my schedule that I like that I want to dedicate hygiene um, on a daily basis. So I just um, put the days of the week there so I can kind of cross them off make sure I actually um, did that. The other action step was to put a statement on my mirror um, and lay out my outfit every night before. So I didn't, I have not put a statement up yet. Um, so I'm kind of 
you know, motivation or whatever I want to put. I haven't put that up on the mirror yet, but I have been laying out my outfit the night before. So it kind of helps. As soon as I get up and I make my bed, I'm like, oh, there's my clothes. I either jump in the shower and get dressed or I just get dressed. So for three months. So we'll see how that's going. And then one year I have, I want to do a 13 mile backpacking trip, which my friend Heather and I have already started training for. And um, I believe at the end of this month or uh, next month, we actually have to reserve our campsite and all of that because it's up in the Grand Canyons on Indian Reservation. Uh, so we do have to get a pass to be there and then pay for the uh, two nights that we're camping and a waste removal fee and stuff like that. So that has to be paid for and planned um, pretty much by the end of the month. So that an action step to that we're kind of already working on that my other goal is to be fit so I'm on the journey we started going to the gym and I really by the end of the year I want to feel like I'm exactly where I want to be and then find a way to maintain that and then the last thing is to get my teeth fixed um, not like fixed like braces or anything I mean I it would be nice to get that fixed but um I have not been to the dentist. I do not have dental insurance. So I haven't been to the dentist in probably like eight years. And I have a filling coming out. I have some work that was supposed to be done the last time I went that never got done. So I, I need to go ahead and set up a, a payment plan, find a dentist, set up a payment plan, and just get my teeth done by the end of the year. So that was, so those, I kind of incorporated my action steps. And then my five-year personal goals um, is learning to do my photography like to the point of its business ready. I've done a couple photo shoots for some friends but I really have a different idea of the style I want to do so over the next five years I really want to master that style and start reaching out to the actual clientele that I would want to be serving and then the other thing is um, having some type of meditation in place. I know I put that for five years from now. Hopefully I'll get it done before that, but that's, you know, having something that's set. And then again, working out, so keeping up with my fitness routine. So some action steps I have about that um, for photography is there's, Sue Bryce is one of inspirations right now for me. So she does have several uh, classes on creative life. So I wanna purchase one of those and really dig into that. I want to um, find a meditation um, style that works for me, uh, and then again, find out a workout routine that can maintain what I'm doing. So kind of some action steps there. So basically those are my personal well-being goals, and then I wanted to give you an idea of what I'm talking about when I'm talking about a success journal. So I have this old journal. I had got this. I don't know, when I opened my dance studio. So back in the end of 2010. Okay, so I started writing this. The beginning of this is just a normal journal, me blah, blah, blah about my life or whatever. Um, and then I started turning, I turned it into a gratitude journal. And so then I have stuff like five things I'm grateful for for that day. And then I kind of stopped doing that. So it's, it's been a journal, it's just, been different types of journals. So I went ahead and found the next blank area and that's where I'm going to go ahead and start my goal success journal. And so what I've done is I've put in, I don't know if you can see, I put in four different um, tabs and these are just my little tabs I showed you in my other planner video. Um, <clears throat> they just have a little sticky on them and then they just, you know, it's just like a flag. So I went ahead and just kind of eyeballed it and gave each section roughly the same amount of pages. I bought it and the sections are, the first section are your goals. So, um, you know, I'm probably gonna transfer, you know, some of my goals into here. And then the next section is for today. And basically, today, I'm gonna, re I'm gonna write down what are the action steps that I wanna take today that can help me towards that goal. Uh, and then she recommended putting universe, but if you have like a religious, you know, thing or anything, universe, basically this is kind of like your gratitude slash prayer <laughs> type page. She recommends that you do, um, you know, a, a statement of, you know, oh, 
like kind of like a prayer help me with this or you know whatever and then a, a gratitude thing um, I may not do that because I don't really want to ask for anything I may just put one of my motivation things like what's my motivation for for that day or write down my goal in affirmation so it's like this is already happened and then you know what I'm I'm grateful for uh, with that and then the last one is success and that's where you're at the end of the day you're gonna go ahead and write down five things that was a success for you that day um, and then you're gonna write down why was it a success and what are you gonna do with it in the future you can continue to do it or you know how are you gonna revamp it things like that so <clears throat> So I may try this. I don't know. I put it together. I haven't wrote in it yet because I do have all my goals right here. So if I'm gonna end up using, if I end up using this one, then I'll just do the same thing and I'll go ahead and put those tabs, you know, and make my own tabs in here. But the goal is to look at it every day, write out some, like, look at your goals, write out some action steps, write out, you know, some gratitude for it and your success for the day and. Um, keep yourself accountable. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try it. The other area I was thinking about putting it in was in my actual planner because I do have um, a big old planner. It's not even that big. It's like the, it's kind of like A5, smaller than A5. Um, it's not personal size though, but I do have a tab in there for my um, personal well-being tab. So I may go ahead and just start putting the goals in there. My problem with that though is I feel like it, then it might get too fat and it might run out of room. Um, but I really don't know if I want to have like all these planners and all these journals and all of this stuff. So I don't know yet. I'll let you know what I end up doing. I think this will work for a little while but I might, it might be too small for me. I like to just write sloppy and big. And That's the other thing too is writing things down really help um, for it to just resonate with you. Now I do like stuff that are clean and so I do type out like my routines but uh, this is I want to maybe start doing also like a more of a daily not to do or maybe a daily have you I'm all over the place but have you heard of the bullet journaling so if you do bullet journaling let me know and let me know how that goes if you do any type of success journal let me know how that goes I'm curious um, to see because I'm kind of exploring some options for journaling the bullet journal seems like it's more of a brain dump and a, like to-do list uh, but I do like the idea of just having all your notes and everything in one spot right now I am managing to can keep all my notes in my folder or in my planner but there's no rhyme or reason they're all over the place so if I said oh I wrote down that YouTube channel the other day and now I can't find it because I don't know where I put it. So I do, I need to organize my brain, I think. Yeah. So thanks for watching today. Just a brief overview of my personal uh, growth goals for three months, one year, and five years. A few little action steps that I'm thinking about taking and the idea of a success journal. So let me know what you think about having a success journal or bullet journaling or anything that you are using and I would love to hear from you in the comments. So thanks for watching and I will see you later. Bye.